Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Today's workout is going to be BOSU for strength and balance. And all you're gonna need is yourself in a BOSU and let's get started. Okay everyone, you're gonna start by standing on the BOSU. This workout is going to be very instructional. Make sure the weight is in your heels. Squishy, squishy, this is a balance. Um, balance workout big time and strength. So we're gonna start with having your feet hip width apart. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I'm gonna actually have my right hand on top of my left. Everyone is different also with their flexibility. So you want your weight in your heels and not in your knees. And if you can go all the way deep, please do so. Listen to the body. Wherever you chose to go deep, you're gonna pause for a second and then we're gonna slowly come up. We're gonna do 10 of these. Do whatever works for your hands, okay? I'm actually gonna uncross mine. There's two, slow is best. And also to not drop your chest or round your back, three. Four, core is engaged to protect your back. Five, six, seven, focal point always helps. Eight, nine, and ten. You're going to get off of your BOSU. Now we're going to do some strength work. Hands directly on the center of the BOSU. We're gonna start in plank, flexibility, here we go. We're gonna do our best to tap our toes to the BOSU, alternating toe touches, okay? If you can't get the toes to the BOSU, it's okay. You can always just tap your mat, tap your floor, whatever you're working on. From here, please follow my count. We're going to do 12 alternating, there's one. Two, do your best to keep your upper body as still as a statue. Three, four, I'm really feeling this deep into my core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Slowly stand up. We're gonna go back on the BOSU. So you're gonna keep your left foot on the BOSU. We're gonna work on some balance, flexibility. Have your right foot in alignment with your left foot. Arms are gonna be up. You're gonna do a little squat as deep as you feel comfortable. And then you're gonna lift up and come back down. So the biggest thing I can suggest is don't rush. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Okay, here we go. And to one. Two. Three. Four. Core is tight. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna go back onto the um, Bosu. We're gonna do the other leg. 
So now, instead of having the toes come in this way, we're gonna have, do our best to have the toes tapping on the outside of the BOSU while we're in plank. So let me show you what I mean. So you're gonna be here. It's gonna hit you big time in your obliques and your core. Let's do 12 of these. There's one. Please follow my pace. Two, neutral neck. Three, four, five. If you can't get your foot to touch, it's okay. Six, do your best. Challenge yourself, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Slowly stand up. I'm going to move my bow suit out the other side of my mat. 10, little squats with a leg up lift. Make sure that the foot is evenly distributed on the BOSU, so it's not too far forward. You're gonna put it into your knee. Okay, core tight, focal point. I'm choosing to have my arms out to the side. 10 leg lifts. There's one. You will also notice you'll have a side of your body that is easier. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to go on to side elbow plank. Start with the right elbow on the plank and have your middle of your forearm to be in the middle of your BOSU. I'm gonna make a fist. You can have your hands, have your fingers spread wide, but I'm gonna make a fist actually. So on this one, you can either stay in plank and just hold it. Or if you wanna challenge yourself, the top leg which is left, you're gonna go behind and then you're gonna come forward back to plank for 12. I'm gonna to choose to do this. If not, hold the plank. This is three. Keep the hips up. Four. Five. Great flexibility and balance and strength. Six. Neutral neck. Seven. Don't rush. Eight, nine, ten, two more, one, and two. Other side. Great burn in the arm. Wow. A lot of strength. Remember, middle of the forearm should be in the middle of your BOSU. Same thing for 12. Now, if you're choosing to do the step back, the right foot is going to be doing the step back, the step back for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, center your BOSU on your mat. Okay, lunges. We're gonna have left foot on the BOSU first. Have the instep in the center of the BOSU. Make sure the weight is back in your left heel. Your back foot, which is right, you're gonna have it on tippy toe. Arms are gonna be out and we are going to do 10 slow, controlled lunges. Find a focal point, please, core tight. 
There's three. Please follow my count. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. If you want to do this challenge, hands are going to go on the waist. The right foot is going to come up off of the mat. Balance up. Three seconds. One, two, three. Actually, four, five, and come down. Nice work. You don't have to do that. That's just a little challenge to. It was actually more of a challenge for myself, but I want you guys to try it too. So now the left foot is going to be on the BOSU. Actually, the right foot's going to be on the BOSU. <laughs> the, the balance work gets my brain so focused that sometimes it's just the words don't come out of my mouth right. Okay, 10 lunges, focal point, and the little challenge at the end, if you want to, 10 lunges. There's one. Please follow my count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, here goes. Hands on the waist or wherever is comfortable for you. And lift. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Very challenging. Okay, back to the ground. But guess what? We're going to flip the BOSU. So the black part is facing up to the ceiling. Have your hands here. If it's digging into your hands, grab like a towel or something. Do what to make you comfortable. So what you're going to do is you're going to get in plank and we're going to do step outs, alternating step outs and doing our best to keep the BOSU level. So you don't want to go too much this way or back and forth. It's going to wiggle probably a little bit, but neutral neck, alternating feet out for 16. There's two. Core is tight. Three. Four, please focus. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and 16. Flip it back so the blue part's facing up. We're going to stand back on the BOSU with both feet. Do whatever you want with your arms. I'm going to choose to have mine up. On this, you're going to do a high knee lift with flexed feet. Pause for a second on the lift. Let's do 20 lifts. Focus, core tight, starting with left foot. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four. Don't lock your knees, please. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, we've made it halfway. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 20, nice work. Tippy toe, right foot. 
instep, middle of the instep, centered in the bow. So we're gonna work on opening up our hip, focusing on hip flexor, arms out. So you're gonna be in tippy toe on the down of the open hipped knee up. So you're gonna be like this. So see how my body wanted to go forward? You're gonna really have to engage the core, zipping the shoulders back, chest back. We're gonna do 12 on each side. Here's one. Focal point, two. Three. Four. Balance work is so important for all ages. Six, we're halfway. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Shake those arms out. Other side, we're almost done. Okay, opening up the left hip. Remember, we're on tippy toe. Remember, there's also always a side that's harder and more challenging. And lift for twelve. One. Core tight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops. 11, one more, 12, beautiful. Now flip the BOSU where the black part is facing the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna do three push-ups, deep push-ups, as deep as you can go. And after you do the three push-ups, you're gonna do a one, two second hold, one, two second hold. We are going to do three rounds of that. So it'll be nine push-ups total, three rounds of that. So I will count out everyone. Please stay with me. Go as deep as you feel you can do, but also challenge yourself on the push-ups. So your feet are going to be together. And here we go. There's one, two, Three, right leg first, hold, one, two. Remember, still as a statue on the BOSU. One, two, okay, round one is done. Three more push-ups. One, two, three, right leg first, one, two, core tight, one, two, last round. Deep, stay deep. One, two, three, right leg first. One, two, one, two, nice. Okay, flipping the BOSU. My BOSU is gonna be on the right side of my mat. We are going to do a side lunge. Okay. So without dropping the chest, rounding the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, you're going to go deep. If you can touch your fingertips on the floor, pushing your right glute back, that's what I want. Make sure that you're not putting pressure into your right knee. So fingertips touching, pushing off of the BOSU with the right foot going back into it. We're going to do six of these on each side. So this is one. Pausing for a couple seconds. Focal point, there's one. Pushing the right glute back. Focal point when you come up, two. Three. Four. Five. And six, move your BOSU to the other side of your mat. You'll notice what side of your body have, you have more flexibility in on, these, on this move too. Okay, 
Now the weight's gonna be in the left hip. Don't put it into your left knee. Couple second hold, we're gonna do six of these. Balancing up, there's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Nice work. Please give me feedback. I noticed I had 11, I think I have, a, this is number 12, workout with the BOSU on my channel. And I think it's a great, I know it's a great thing to add, is to get a BOSU. They're like $150 to $200, depending on where you get it. But it's a great thing to add into your um, fitness training. My heart to your heart. Have a wonderful self-care day, and I will see you soon. Bye.